always worried to put a low spot in the stone with a knife blade than the chisels. And, um, look, check it out, David. I've got a, a video on how to flatten stone. In fact, I'll tell you what. I'll, if I can find a piece of paper, I'll show you. I shall show you how. Oops. There you go. Here we go, 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 go. Well, that's just, <laughs> it's a manky old dirty piece of glass that was been lying around outside. And that's a sheet of, it's 240, wet and dry. Let's wipe this down. All I'm using here, <coughs> oh, is ordinary, this stuff here. Kerosene, good old diggers, kerosene. Put a bit of a squirt there. Just clean an area. Now bearing in mind, this was lying around outside. So it's nothing special. This is just a, a piece of glass out of a, um, it might have been a shop cabinet or something like that. Give you all cameras so you can see. Get the 240, or what I like to do is put some kerosene down first. Uh, you could use paraffin. There you go. I wouldn't do white spirit, that's a bit rugged. Now I put that down there. Then I'll wet that and I'll put kerosene on the top. Get that stone. Oops. We'll do both of them. Um, might do the rough one first. And then we'll do the smooth one. Okay, so you can see how manky that is. Now just place it on the glass, on the paper. Circular motions or figures of eight, if you want. Turn it around so you're getting even distribution. Up and down, sideways. Keep the caro up to it. There we go. Oh! <laughs> that was an Alan wanted some um, hide glue, Alan. And uh, I said I'd catch up with him tomorrow. I've got to go to the shops. And he lives close to where I go to the shops. So I said I'd drop some hide glue off to him and we'll have a coffee. So there you go. Use north side or south side in Brisbane? Why kerosene? Um, I think it, it works. I think oil is too stodgy for this. Uh, I wouldn't use mefo, it's too rough on your hands and flammable. Uh, it's just a nice, it's a nice lubricant. I use kerosene when I'm sharpening my tools as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, mate, I, I don't particularly like the low angle planes myself. I've got um, a low angle Veritas shooting plane, and of course, my block planes are low angle, but I much prefer the high angle ones. Okay, and that should do it. What we'll do, we'll just get a straight edge. Hold it on there. And see if there's any light coming through, which I don't think there is. And that is pretty darn flat. So I'll leave that to one side. 
do the fine one. It's not too bad. But we'll give it a clean up anyway, so that's, that's what it looks like before we flatten it and clean it. Yeah, what is a, a set of this paper cost? It might be $1.20 or $1.40, something like that. It's not going to break the bank, but it saves your stones and allows you to keep your chisels nice and sharp. Okay, I've got a little bit more to go there. There we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is just get a bit of 400 or something or other. Ah, 320, that'll do. <clears throat> now that's, I, that, that still has a little bit of use on it, but quite frankly, I'm happy to throw it away. And I'll just put a bit more of this on. Where's my little bottle? Better fill that up too. Uh, obviously with water stones, I wouldn't use kerosene with water stones, but you can use exactly the same technique on water stones and use water as the medium instead of um, kerosene. This is how I flatten the soles of planes as well. If I bought another plane and I wanted to have it flattened, same thing, just... I would start, depending how bad it is, uh, I could start off at 80 grit and then I'll work my way 80, 100, 120, 150, 200, 220, 320, 400 and then I get a really nice finish on the bottom of my planes. There you go, we've just renewed or rejuvenated that stone and I'll just give this one a bit of a tickle. So I hope that helped, David. Uh, cost next to nothing to do. You've most likely got the stuff hanging around. Uh, the other thing, if you haven't got glass, you can go to a tile shop and get just a, a, a flat ceramic tile and it will work just as well. I've got some of those outside from the kitchen. Now, if you can remember what that looked like before, now it's all been rejuvenated and I've got a nice new cutting surface on there, ready to use. Okay, so we are with some. Oh. In fact, I might just do this one. I haven't done this one for ages either. And use this one for ages. See, it's got a lot of little fine scratches in it. I don't know if it'll make any difference, but we'll try. Oh, you can do the, the same thing, you can use diamond plates uh, to do it. And you won't wear the diamond plate out. But, you know, at $120 for a diamond plate, there's a lot of wet and dry you can buy for that. And after a while, as you can tell, this paper will just stick down to the glass. So it's no biggie to do it. There you go, if you have a look at that, most of those scratches are now out. And that's ready to go again. Oh, get up there. There we go. Oh. <sighs>